Hi and welcome back to yet another session on Turnkey. I'm going to show you um, the fat VPF client that you could hook up to Turnkey. It's a really small project and you just point out your Turnkey site. It enables you to log on and uh, you get the main menu. In uh, this uh, VPF client we used a Mayhap uh, library which is a uh, styling, metro styling. Um, library that I'm gonna show you about here. It's a UI toolkit for VPF. So rather than inventing all our st styles ourselves, we just uh, continued on the work from Paul Jenkins here and uh, to bring you a metro style user interface to your web application. So that's what we use here. Everything in your model is available and the UI overrides from the last session are, are there. And the UI metro UI dialogues show up. And if you hold down control, you bring up another tab. So you have uh, ability to have multiple tabs and there's a stack of, uh, of views that you can push back to, to get back, just like in a web browser. Yeah, and let's take a look at the model for this sample project. I'm going to start it. M driven designer. I'm logging in with my Google account and finding the site I'm after or the model that I'm after. So, um, just how easy it can be to uh, change things. I'm looking up the action that navigates to this view model and it's a search expression and the grid shows some things and I'm gonna just for um, completeness show a, a little change to this view see that it follows just a pending hello world behind every item in the search result and I'm gonna add a number I'm bringing up a sub expression to help me with the context for this. I'm looking for the operator index of. So if I can find the index of myself in the seek result, I would get a number back. I would like that number behind the hello world. And that needs to be a string in order to add them together something like that and up with the model and if I now bring a new search window it uh, is updated because the VPF client is really thin and doesn't need to be uh, rebuilt or anything it's it's uh, derived things from the model so is it really this easy uh, and Let's add something more. I'm gonna add a generic column that shows the sub things. And the sub things of a thing, but the attribute one, but this will uh, be a collection of strings and we need to present it in a single row. So I'm gonna use the operator as comma list, which uh, just comma separates the, the content in any collection. And this is these exceptions I get is when my application tries to refresh during the M driven server uh, evolve. So uh, it gets confused slightly, but it's soon back on its feet again. Very robust. So here I see all the things. Right, if I click up one of the items, I'm gonna add a few more details on this one so if you have seen if you you don't find this interesting bear with me because it's gonna get a bit more interesting pretty soon 
um, just showing you how to show the sub things in in the dialog for this single thing so I need to head back search again and open the window again to find the new UI that has been rendered automatically yes so the UI override I show last is uh, it was a simple one I'm gonna show you a more complex one I have uh, uh, a separate uh, assembly with a Gantt chart, commercial Gantt chart from Plexity Hide, and uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, I've used uh, SAML from a sample, and I'm gonna look on how we bind information to this. There's a tree view that binds to something called tree nodes, okay. And that hooks up to a row info template. The row info template, well, it has uh, a hierarchy that in turn binds to three nodes. So the sub row info template that hooks up to this one. Uh, and uh, there's also a Gantt row in each, and that binds to time something called oops something called time items okay so what I can do in my view model is um, if I have some data uh, I can just name it tree nodes thing all instances I name the view model column tree nodes and then it navigates to a thing and the sub things I also call tree nodes and the time items um, I have added some time items with start and stop date times in the model. Um, so this would be, in theory, all it takes to hook up any third-party uh, SAML-aware control with the data bind. Just name things the same. Uh, and the squared time item template binds to start and stop. Like this so uh, I have added a, a view with this and as you can see the, the tree view and the time items show up as they should um, let's look at well Actually, we can open a new application window to make it easier to see. I'm going to have that one there. So now we can see both. If I seek a thing, let's that one, HMMSS. You one, let's change the name on there. This is me. Okay. And that updates. So the tree view follows. Now it would be a good thing if I was able to to add some time items, but let's show if I try to delete the sub thing and that one is deleted from the tree view. So that thing seems okay. Let's head back to the model and uh, show the time items in the text UI for the thing um, so here are the some time things let's grab that one and let's grab it with create and delete actions this is just a snippet that um, helps us create it faster <coughs> and I add a start and stop columns Look how that looks, that's just about right. And head back to Cloud Dialog Upload Model. And if my, let's open this one. So now we have possibility. Create a time item, yes. 
this is just again complaining that uh, there is no times I'm gonna add a single link to be able to edit the time items in the VPF text UI oops I did that wrong it just should be self this must have misclicked that's a some time thing I'm gonna add start and stop again now in the thing and link that means they will be rendered as normal controls for the selected row and heading back to the application now I'm adding and then I can set the, the start time and the stop time and ideally I would like to see that in my Gantt chart of course uh, and yes it seems to have shown up really small because I had zoomed it in let's do another one mm, 21st to the 29th and it shows up let's drag a bit in this one and it updates both ways so um, this is just an example of course um, I'm gonna show you a bit about the styles as well there's two um, themes and a lot of colors that you can choose in in uh, the Mayhap application style so um, of course this is just uh, our suggestion of how you should um, how you could build your applications but anyway I hope you have got a feel for um, the flexibility and um, the ability to bind uh, just about anything with SAML to the names you give your view models um, so if you have any questions uh, how this works or things like that um, please send them to to us and we will do our best to answer them thank you for watching and remember to to share and uh, thumbs up the video if you like it thanks